<laughs> well, good morning, church. Good morning. Nice to see you. I feel like it's been a while uh, between quarantining and uh, being in the red zone and everything else. We uh, have not been together, but uh, it's good to see you all, even though we're spread out a little bit, which is good. Um, hey, we are in the outdoor chapel. Will, your dream is realized. Awesome. Um, we're going to dedicate it in a second. If you want to help me with that, you can. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so a couple things we're going to do that are a little different. So we don't have a paper. Uh, there's only a couple of responses. I, as we are going to do something with a response, I'll tell you what it is so you don't have to guess. How's that sound? Awesome. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is you, did you pick up a communion pack on your way in? Okay, when it's time for that, we're going to do it. You know, there are traditions where everybody kind of communes at once, so we're going to explore our ecumenical roots and see if uh, somebody else's insight might help us out. So uh, we're going to try that as well. Uh, also, by the communion table when you came in, there's a place for the offering. If you brought that with you, you can put that out uh, there and way out, as well as any canned goods uh, if you're doing that. All right, how's everybody doing? Awesome. Will, you want to help me with this? Cool, come on down. Let's give him a little encouragement. All right. All right. So why don't I say this prayer and you can say that prayer. Sure. And in the blank, make sure you say outdoor chapel. All right. Okay. All right, let's pray. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, ruler of the universe. You made the whole earth for your glory. All creation praises you. We lift our voices to join the songs of heaven and earth, of things seen and unseen. You stretched out the heavens like a tent. You divided the day from the night. You appointed times and seasons for work and rest, for tearing down and building up. You blessed your people through all generations and guided them in life and in death. Abraham and Sarah, Moses and Miriam, Isaiah and all the prophets, Mary, mother of our Lord, Peter, James, John, and all the apostles, and all the saints and witnesses in your church of ages past, in whom your spirit spoke and moved. We give thanks, O oh God, as we set apart, as we dedicate this outdoor chapel to your glory and praise. Grant us faith to know your gracious purpose in all things. Give us joy in them, and lead us to the building up of your kingdom. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, and our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 All right, thank you. Good job. All right, we're going to take a moment here as we enter into confession and forgiveness. So let's take a moment and prepare ourselves as we turn our hearts to God. O Holy One, we confess that we are not awake for you. We are not faithful in using your gifts. We forget the least of our siblings around us. We do not see your beautiful image in one another. We are infected by sin, sin that divides your beloved community. Open our hearts to your coming. Open our eyes to see you and our neighbor. Open our hands to serve you and your creation. Amen. Beloved, we are God's children, and Jesus, our beloved, opens the door to us. Through Jesus, your sins are forgiven. By Jesus, you all are welcome. In Jesus, you are called to rejoice. Let us live in the promise prepared for us from the foundation of the world. Amen. Good job. You did it. All right. Our gospel today comes from Matthew. Jesus said, For it is as if a man, going on a journey, summoned his slaves and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, each according to their ability. Then he went away. The one who received the five talents 
went off at once and traded with them and made five more talents. In the same way, the one who had the two talents made two more talents. But the one who had received the one talent went off and dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those slaves came and settled accounts with them. Then the one who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five more talents, saying, Master, you handed over to me five talents. See, I have made five more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. And the one with the two talents also came forward, saying, Master, you handed over to me two talents. See, I have made two more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. Then the one who had received the one talent also came forward, saying, Master, I knew you were a harsh man, reaping where you did not sow, gathering where you did not scatter seed. So I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here, have what is yours. But his master replied, You wicked and lazy slave. You knew, did you, that I reap where I do not sow, and gather where I do not scatter? Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and on my return I would have received what is mine with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to the one with the ten talents. For to all who have, have, more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. For this worthless slave, throw him into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Uplifting, isn't it? This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So a couple things here. Uh, the first thing is, I don't think this is about investment advice. Uh, if it was, uh, we could all take the thing that uh, Jesus gave us and double our return and we'd all be pretty well set, wouldn't we? So I don't think it's about that. Uh, I don't think it's about talents and the way we usually think of talents being skills. You know, like I'm, I'm good with numbers or I'm really good at organizing or I'm an artist. Although using what we have is definitely a part of this, uh, but it's not just that. Uh, I, the thing about talents, uh, I looked this up, it was a weight and measure. So uh, a rock that was 70 pounds was a talent. And then you'd use that to weigh against silver or gold so you would know how much it was worth. So we're talking a lot. If you got 70 pounds of silver or gold, that is quite the abundance, isn't it? And even though it, it is about money here as well, I don't think it's entirely about that either. What I think this story is about that Jesus tells is it's about, it is about using what you have but it's also about what happens to us uh, when we don't. There's this whole part at the end, and I know it's easy to, to dwell in the bummer side of this story, about the outer darkness, about the, the weeping and gnashing of teeth. But I think of it like this. I don't know if it's so much about harsh judgment against this guy, uh, even though it might be encouragement or a warning for us who have the five and the two, as much as it is naming exactly where he is already. I don't know if you've ever just been like sucked into fear where you feel like you don't, you can't even move, you, you, can't, you can't function, you can't do anything, you don't see a way out. I mean, that is the weeping and gnashing of teeth. Uh, and maybe we've all been there. I mean, I know uh, this, this week in particular, I, I felt like I was there for a while. Um, I was really worried about if, if gathering was actually a good idea or not. And I think I had a little PTSD from like March or April when it seemed like all I was hearing is, when are we open? Are we going to be open? How's that going to work? And, uh, and, and just hearing that constantly. Uh, that's feeling like you're in the outer darkness. Uh, that's the weeping and gnashing of teeth. And yet, uh, I think about all the things we've done this summer. I think of incredible acts of generosity. I think of incredible acts of, of care and support and love of each other. I think of uh, the resilience and creativity to do new things and that's the joy of the master that continues to call each of us forward a little bit, especially if we're you know, stuck in that outer darkness place. 
I mean, I think of, of Will in this outdoor chapel, this dream that was realized. I mean, here we are in this new space together. I mean, how cool is that? Uh, that's taking the five and, and, and making it 10. Or, uh, you know, Tracy jumped back on council. Daryl stepped up uh, to be our council president. We're, we're thinking about how to move the congregation forward into 2021. That's not stuck in the outer darkness. That's, that's entering the joy of the faith that we share. And what's it gonna mean uh, to look ahead? Uh, that pulls us out of that, that dark place. Uh, I have the joy of hanging out with Tammy a lot. Um, just thinking of this, this whole summer, these last how many months, I mean, being able to get young people together to do service projects uh, in the summertime when everybody was feeling kind of lousy. Or uh, even recently, she, she's gotten you know, the Milkowski kids together and some others to think about how we're gonna do a virtual Christmas pageant this year. And as we're worried about what's Christmas gonna look like and how do we have to do something different and are we even gonna be able to gather and all those questions that call us back into the outer darkness, uh, it, it brings us forward to enter the joy of the master, to enter that story and the hope that we have again. Or even this afternoon, we'll meet with the confirmation kids on Zoom. We wouldn't have done that a year ago, and yet here's another way all of us in, in all kinds of ways have, have been able to reconnect uh, again, just, just being open to how God is, is calling us in this time. Uh, so, so here we are. It's, it's not as cold as it was this morning when I got here, but it's still a, a little chilly. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's gonna get colder as the weeks go on. And two, I mean, you've seen the, the, all the information about uh, COVID cases going up and it's, it's getting harder and we dread what's coming. Yeah. And yet, uh, what, what is our calling about? But it's about calling each of us out of that outer darkness place, back into the joy that we share, into the community that we know that, that loves and supports us, into the faith that, that makes us well. So what I'd encourage you just to think about are what, what are those gifts that you've been given? What's the talent that God has shared? And where can you be an encouragement to someone out of that outer darkness? So all of us can continue into this next year and beyond to enter the joy of our master. Amen. All right. We are going to turn to the prayers. And the way we're going to do this is at the end of each petition, I'll say, hear us, O God, and you can respond, your mercy is great. Do you want to practice or do you think you got it? All right, you guys are very smart people. All right, let's pray. Longing for Christ's reign to come among us, we pray for the outpouring of God's power on the church, the world, and all of those in need. Lord of the church, ignite your people with the passion of your love. By the fire of your Holy Spirit, unify us across ministries, congregations, and denominations, and refine us to participate in your activity throughout the world. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. Lord of creation, we stand in awe at the works of your hands and praise for your beauty, especially here in this place as we gather in the outdoor chapel and look upon the memorial garden. Bless the earth for your glory and restore its integrity where exploitation has caused ruin. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. Lord of the nations, sound forth your justice in the ears of all of our leaders. Increase concern for those who are most vulnerable, especially as COVID numbers continue to rise. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Lord of all in need, search out all who cry to you in distress. Scatter the heavy clouds of depression, chronic illness, unemployment, and loneliness with your radiant light. Send us as encouragement and signs of your healing, especially to Eleanor, Brandy, Logan, Addie, Mary Sue, Sandra, Rod, Tom, David, Blake, John, Al, Bob, Elizabeth, Shirley, and those we name in our hearts or aloud before you now.
Call us again to enter the joy of our master. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. O God, where hearts are fearful and constricted, grant courage and hope. Where anxiety is infectious and widening, grant peace and reassurance. Where impossibilities close every door and window, grant imagination and resistance. Where distrust twists our thinking, grant healing and illumination. Where spirits are daunted and weakened, grant soaring wings and strengthen dreams. All these things we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Let's pray together as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. All right, we're going to share the peace with our, uh, our, our very traditional lawn church wave. So the peace, the peace of the Lord be with you always. Go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. All right, thank you, everybody. We did it. Let's try again. Yep. Try and try again. <laughs>